Hi everyone, Ron Kreider reporting for duty. Today is April the 11th. It's Sunday. These are the numbers for today. I don't have the numbers yet. I did this early in the morning. As I mentioned to you yesterday, I'm on the road again today. As you can see, I'm not sitting in my chair in my studio, but I'm here still with you. I'll be in Fort Lauderdale today, Miami tomorrow. Today is my 380th day of doing this uh, video, and I continue to do it until we get an all-clear sign somewhere along the way. I have a brief weather forecast for you. Weather for Sunday night, rain Sunday night, and there's going to be rain on Monday, then sunny Monday afternoon. Between today and tomorrow, we're going to have a low of 57 and a high of 82 degrees here on Florida's Treasure Coast. Okay, I have a little bit of a pet peeve going on here. You've heard me mention this once before. And as you know, I'm pretty much of an ultra conservative. This sounds like I'm siding up with the liberals, but actually I'm not siding up with the liberals. I'm siding up with me. I don't understand why it's an invasion of privacy to require a passport for vaccinations for the COVID-19, but it's perfectly okay to require children who go to school to have to pr present a vaccination certificate showing that they've had a number of vaccinations before they can get into school. This just seems to me like for some reason we keep making up rules that are not consistent with rules we already have in place. I don't really understand it. They do this for the children in school so they don't affect each other, and it would seem like it would be a very appropriate and responsible thing to do for us adults. However, that's my own personal opinion. That's why we live here in America, and you can have your opinion as well. You don't have to get the shot if you don't want to get the shot. But personally, as I said several times on here, I would really like to get on an airplane and know that the person sitting next to me has been vaccinated and not somebody who probably could be spreading COVID-19. I would also like to go to a restaurant and know that most of the people in the restaurant have been vaccinated. I think that would be a really good idea. However, it doesn't seem like that's the case. Anyway, here comes a little short video I'm going to show you about the discussion about it. It does look pretty left-leaning. As a matter of fact, it starts out with President Biden. It's seldom that I ever start out any of my videos with President Biden, but he is our president, so we got to hear what he has to say as well. And then I will have the numbers for you later today when I finally get them, and we'll hopefully they will be down like they were yesterday. Back in a flash. The Biden administration has made a lot of progress on vaccinating Americans. We're now at more than 100 million Americans who have at least one dose of the vaccine. And the attention now is beginning to turn to how the United States is gonna move on next. A component of that is people being able to show that they've had the vaccination doses that they need. The virus is spreading because we have too many people who seen the end in sight, think we're at the finish line already. But let me be deadly earnest with you. We aren't at the finish line. We still have a lot of work to do. We're still in a life and death race against this virus. The Biden administration has been working with state governments and companies to devise ways for people to prove this. The biggest way they've done it so far is by designing apps as companies have started using them, as states have started using them. Other states, particularly those controlled by Republican governors, have begun to object to this. Government should not require any Texan to show proof of vaccination and reveal private health information just to go about their daily lives. That is why I issued an executive order that prohibits government-mandated vaccine passports in Texas. It's completely unacceptable for either the government or the private sector to impose upon you uh, the requirement that you show proof of vaccine to just simply be able to participate in normal society. The governors of Texas and Florida have released orders saying, essentially banning these vaccine passports in their state. What they essentially have said is any company that requires a vaccine passport for any reason can't receive state funding. It's an interesting decision for these states because requiring vaccinations is actually not a new thing. Children in both states are actually required to receive vaccinations before attending school. Greg Abbott, the governor of Texas, and Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, have both said that these orders are primarily about medical privacy. But they should also be looked at in the broader context of what these governors are doing to try to reopen their state. All businesses of any type are allowed to open 100 percent. 
Also, I am ending the statewide mask mandate. The country is about to run into a period where everyone who wants a vaccine has gotten one, and the next task is convincing people who haven't gotten their vaccines to go ahead and take their shots. Now, it's possible that some people who could be convinced would be less likely to do that if they're worried that there's some kind of government tracking system about whether they've been vaccinated or not. The flip side of that, though, is if people are required to get vaccines in order to participate in activities, people might be more likely to get those vaccines, according to public health experts. Alrighty, folks, Ron Kreider in the numbers department today. I did make it to Fort Lauderdale. It is Sunday, April the 11th, and uh, we have some green on the screen. Not as much green as I would like, but I do like these deaths. Uh, that's a horrible thing to say. But the deaths, 34. Yesterday they were 50. They're down by 16. We're out of the 50s. We're out of the 40s. And we're in the lower 30s. So that's a very good thing. Down by 16 over yesterday. Positives, 5,520. We're out of the 6,000s. We're down by 1,386 in the past 24 hours. Unfortunately, the positivity rate for the entire state of Florida, well, that went up to 7.75. Yesterday, it was 6.91. Number of vaccinations in the past 24 hours, 109,909. All righty, let's take a look at Miami-Dade. Miami-Dade, 12 new deaths to report, 1,160 new positives, 1,975 new vaccinations in the Miami area. Fort Lauderdale, where I am right now, no new deaths to report, 707 new positives, 10,977 new vaccinations in the past 24 hours. Let's go up to the Palm Beaches. Palm Beach, no new deaths to report, 350 new positives, 9,000 481 new vaccinations in the past 24 hours in the Palm Beaches. Orange County, that's Orlando, we call that Mouse Town. One new death to report, 369 new positives, 9,161 new vaccinations up there in Orange County. Now we're going to go to Brevard County. Brevard County is the Space Coast. That's where the spaceships are. No new death to report, 119 new positives. And we look over here, 2,578 new vaccinations in uh, the Melbourne area. That's Brevard. St. Lucie County, Fort Pierce, no new deaths to report. In fact, no new deaths on the Treasure Coast. No new deaths in St. Lucie County, 73 new positives, 1,110 new vaccinations. Martin County, no new deaths to report, 17 new positives, 655 new vaccinations. And then in Indian River County, Indian River County is Vero Beach, no new deaths to report, 24 new positives, 522 new vaccinations. Not a lot of vaccinations up there. All right, let's trot on down here and take a look at the zip codes for Indian River County. These are all going to be positives in the past 24 hours. There were a total of 24 of them. Zip code 32948, no new positives. Zip code 32958, six new positives. Zip code 32960, Vero Beach proper, five new positives. Zip code 32962, four new positives. Zip code 32963 and the Barrier Island, three new positives. Zip code 32966, one. Zip code 32967, four. And zip code 32968, one new positive. So those are the positives for the zip codes in Vero Beach. And we're going to go down here. I don't like this either. Our seven-day moving average yesterday was 54.71. Today it's 56.29. Sorry about that. That's not a good thing. All right, you know this. You know what we're going to look at over here. These are the really big numbers. We don't like these numbers, but we report them every day. Total number of people who contracted COVID-19 since the very beginning, 31,187,983. Total number of deaths in the United States as a result of COVID since we started keeping track of these numbers, 562,035. You, I don't know if you can hear that noise in the background, but that is thunder. So you guys got plenty of rain up there in Vero Beach today, and now we're getting plenty of rain down here in Fort Lauderdale. Number of cases worldwide. Total number of people contracted COVID-19 worldwide. This is the biggest number on the chart, 135,756,507. And then the number of deaths worldwide, 2,932,192. Alrighty, folks, so 
here we are. These are the numbers for today, and uh, they are a little bit better. We're very happy to see those deaths go down. I'm happy to be in Fort Lauderdale. i got a big meeting in Miami tomorrow. That's important. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put one of these reports together for you tomorrow. I hope you guys had a really nice spring fling up there in Vero Beach at the Victoria. I hope you didn't get rained out. That would be a really terrible thing. It wasn't very promising uh, when I left, so I hope it works out really well. And uh, I got busted by uh, Bean. She did uh, uh, find out that I was not going to be there for the party because I thought the party was on Saturday and I didn't realize it was Sunday and now I'm not there and that's not a really good thing. Anyway, we, you uh, heard the report here on the video in the, uh, right before we jumped into this part of it about the passports. I think it's a very important th good thing to have those passports. I'm not in lockstep obviously with Governor DeSantis and I'm not a liberal. I just That's my own personal opinion and I also wear my little badge here that says I have received my COVID-19 shot, and that's what you should do as well. I personally think everybody should become vaccinated, but that's your choice also. Anyway, have a really blessed Sunday the rest of your day. It looks like it's going to be a little wet just about everywhere, and I'll look forward to seeing you back here on Monday. If I'm able to find time to be able to squeeze it in, I'll be happy to do so. And I hope you have a terrific Sunday evening. Ron Kreider, signing off.